Good day. In this video, we're going to solve equations with rational exponents. We're going to solve the seven equations that you see on the screen here. So if you understand them, you don't have to look at the rest of the video. If you look at this first equation, the only thing that rational exponents mean is that we have an x with a fraction in the air as an exponent. Let me show you a method to solve these equations. And for each one of them, the heading says solve for x. A little bit of pre-knowledge that you have to keep in the back of your mind. The square root of 16 can be written as 16 to the power of a half. Let's be able to go forward and backwards with this. So the cube root of minus 8 can be written as minus 8 to the power of a third. The answer is not important now. Please stop the video and make sure you understand this writing. Next, you must know that you cannot have an even root with a negative number underneath. That is non-real. And it will give you an error on your calculator. Next, if you have an x with an even number in the air, and you have to solve for x. In this case, you will square root both sides and you will get two answers. x equals to plus 4 or x equals to minus 4. So if you have a 2, a 4 or a 6 as an exponent, you have to solve for x, you always get two answers. Provide this number is positive. Please stop the video and see if you understand this. Also understand, if you get x to the power of 2 over 5, it's the same as x to the power of a fifth to the power of 2. x to the power of minus 5 over 3, we can write as x to the power of minus a third to the power of 5. So let's start with an easy one. They give us a to the power of a half equals 5. And they ask us to solve for a. To solve for a, we will times by 2 over 1 on both sides with the exponents. Here we add a 1, so we times it by 2, and this 1 over 2 times 2 over 1 will give us a to the power of 1 equals plus 25. I exaggerate the plus and minuses to, for you to focus on it. I assume you understand this writing now. But just keep in mind, a to the power of a half cannot be a negative number. It will be non-real. And a to the power of a third can be negative. All this pre-knowledge is absolutely necessary before we can move on. Before we start with our seven equations, you may send a message to this number to arrange a personalized online lesson in mathematics. Here's our first equation, solve for x. Got x to the power of 2 over 5 equals 4. First we write x to the power of a fifth all square is 4. Then we square root both sides to get rid of the square. Get plus minus the square root of 4. So we get x to the power of a fifth equals plus 2, or x to the power of a fifth equals minus 2. Then we get x equals to plus 2 to the power of 5, or x equals minus 2 to the power of 5. To get rid of that fifth, we times by 5 to the exponent, and here we times the 1 by 5 on both sides. So x equals to plus 32 or x equals to minus 32. Please stop the video and get your head around this. The next equation we must solve for x looks like this. We write the exponent as a quarter to the power of 5. This side, I prime factorize the 32. Firstly, to get rid of the 5, we do the fifth root on both sides. So we get x to the power of a quarter equals minus 2. Then we write, x to the power of a quarter is not allowed to be minus 2, and you stop, there is no solution here. Remember, the x to the power of a quarter is the same as the fourth root of x. And that means an even root can't have a negative answer. Please stop the video and get your head around this one. Here is our next equation. We have to solve for x. We break up the rational exponent. We make it minus a third and to the power of 5. To get rid of the power of 5, you fifth root both sides, you end up x to the power of minus a third is 2, plus 2. Now to get the x alone, we times the minus a third with minus 3. We times the exponents on both sides with minus 3. Then we get x equals to plus 2 to the power of minus 3, and that means x equals to plus an eighth. Please stop the video and get your head around this one. Here's our next equation. We have to solve for x. We divide by 40 on both sides, and we break up this exponent here. So we get 
this equals 1 over 8. That's the same as 2 to the power of minus 3. First we get rid of the cube, so we cube root both sides. The cube root of an eighth is a half. A half is 2 to the power of minus 1. To get rid of the minus a quarter exponent, we times by minus 4 to the exponents on both sides. So x equals to 2 to the power of positive 4. So x equals to 16. Please stop the video and get your head around this one. The next equation looks like this. We have to solve for x. First we divide by 2 on both sides. And I break up my exponent. Minus 2 divided by 2 is minus 1. To get rid of the to the power of 6, you'll have to do a sixth root. And any even root can't have a negative value. Then you can write x to the power of a fifth is not equal to this. It's non-real. You stop now. A lot of people, when they get to this stage, they just put not equal to, no solution. But try and understand why. Let's do the next equation, solve for x. You might want to stop the video and try it yourself. First we divide by 3 on both sides and we break up our exponent. Minus 24 divided by 3 is minus 8. To get rid of the cube, we cube root both sides, so we get x to the power of a fifth equals minus 2. We times both our exponents by 5, so we get x equals minus 2 to the power of 5, and that is minus 32. Please stop the video and get your head around this one. The last equation of this video, we have to solve for x. First we minus 4 on both sides. Then we divide by minus 16 on both sides and we break up the exponent. To get rid of the square, we square root both sides, and remember your plus minus. So you get x to the power of minus a third is plus a half, or x to the power of minus a third is minus a half. If I change the half to 2 to the power of minus 1 on both sides, then to get rid of the minus a third with the x, we times the exponent with a minus 3 on both sides at both the answers. Final answer, x equals to plus 8 or x equals to minus 8. Please indicate whether you liked or disliked the video and subscribe to the channel. Enjoy exponents.